We're back down Sandhurst again for the annual winter socials, which seems to happen every year. Me and Jamie always seem to meet up around this time of year. We got down here yesterday. Uh, to see a couple of fish, like just just on dark last night. I mean, I actually got my rods chucked out li literally on dark. I chucked all three out on on the bottom and put like a, half a dozen spots around them just to try and get a bit of interest. Just a few crushed boilers and a bit of corn. The reason I'm breaking it all up is just to try and get like a few items spread about and a, and just to get a bit of excitement and a bit of food items into the area. It's not a lot of food but it's a lot of items and a lot of spread over a little way and that can that can just get them picking up because they're not really that hungry at the minute. I don't think they're into eating a lot, but I think like just putting a small amount of food can just get them, just trigger off that feeding and just get them moving, picking a few bits up. Sweet corn string is something that I've been doing for quite a while now, like during the cold weather. It seems to get you a few extra bites, you know. A small mouthful of uh, sweet corn just over the top, it's just, just enough to get a bite. And you can cast them as far as you can cast a single up bait, to be fair. Like sometimes, like putting on a bag, it sort of restricts your cast a little bit. Using them sweet corn stringers, it is literally just like chucking your lead out, you know. It does it does help with the non-tangling as well. Ideal, just enough for a bite in this, this time of year. I've used them with one of them fake up baits or corders, you know, just because it's the same colour. But ideal for using was sweet corn stringers, you know, because the colour's identical. I think like sort of March the 1st onwards, like I want to be spending time on the places where I want to be catching them in the spring, just to try and get sort of a mental picture of what's going on. Early on time, you know, you sometimes just get to see like one fish in the middle of an afternoon and that'll all you see for three days. But at least it gives you a sort of a picture of where to where to head and what to do throughout the spring. Last year was brilliant, you know, I really enjoyed myself and caught plenty of fish, you know. It just seemed to all fall into place. From the first year I was on there, like, um, it was a lot more weedier, things were a lot more tricky and obviously I didn't know the water as well as what I do now. It's sort of exciting, like, knowing that the days are getting a bit longer and it's not far around the corner, but I should be heading back down welly again, sort of March, March time. On here I'm using like size 8 wire gates with little rings on and stuff like that, you know, like more sort of intricate sort of rigs and like on Wellington you can't really fish with like tiny hooks and stuff like that so it's just a case of upscaling to, to deal with it and I've, I've just been using like a, my version of an inch stiff rig which is basically a reverse combi rig with a stiff bit near the hook and, and boom section like the inch stiff rigs they do seem to sort out the bigger fish and ideal for fishing over boilers as well just that blatant pop up and it's the curve in there you know it's just like a big bent hook you know once it sucks it in it just can't get rid of it it can't turn it round can't spit it out it just gets straight in the bottom lip. I mean, obviously, when you're using like 15 mil boilers and that, you can get away with it a little bit better. And I suppose that's another reason why I've stuck with the boilers. Um, there's certain areas on that lake that respond really well to big beds of bait, and uh, that's been my main tactic of the year. Majority of the time, I was like chopping up a few 15s and you know, a few 15s in there, maybe an handful of 10s and some 20s. And I was mixing up the, the flavours as well, you know, like using M Blender and the cold water mix, which seemed to work really well, to be honest. Uh, I mean, uh, that started really early on in the year. I was using the cold water mix and I was catching on it every time I went, so I was quite reluctant to change over to the M Blend. But what I ended up doing was mixing the M Blend in with the cold water mix, and I never really looked back since.